Halo. So, how have you found UK Game Expo this year? Tiring. <laughs> very tiring. No, it's been, it's been very good. And I mean, my favourite moment has been, uh, I've got a friend and uh, she's not a gamer and she turned up and the first time I saw her, I was in the Monarch Suite, it was 12 o'clock at night and 20 people went running past me playing some game and in the middle of them, was this friend screaming, shouting, laughing, and I went, you know what, it's been worth the work. Absolutely amazing, the atmosphere has been buzzing, and I really mean buzzing through all the weekend. Um, uh, as always, it's been a great experience, uh, it's always popular, it's always successful for me, and um, it's been a blast. I mean, and, all... and it's just been fantastic, the atmosphere has been great, the games companies have been uh, so engaging, great demos, great games, and the families and the people coming in, we've just had a whale of a time. It's showing over time, we're changing the demographic, we're getting more and more families involved. It was just, it was crazy in here yesterday with the number of families and up to sort of, you know, way through the afternoon, it's been nice and steady as well, so it also shows that they're staying longer at the Expo as well, so it's, it's having the desired effect, I think. Yeah, it's been really, really good. I've had a fantastic time at the Expo, it's been absolutely manic. My feet haven't touched the floor. Every time I see something that I want to do, I see five other things that I want to do and have to choose between them. It's been really difficult. There are so many fantastic demos on, so many people working. It's been great wandering around the prototype slot and playing new games by new designers and seeing what might be interesting next time. It's been wonderful seeing established games that I've heard a lot about from my local gaming group, but it happens that no one nearby owns. It's been an absolutely brilliant experience being here and I've just been amazed by how much there is to try and to do. And it's been amazing. It's this so many great things to see here. I don't think I've even seen half of it and I've been running around for the last few days like a loon trying to capture as much as I can. So yeah, it's been great. There's always you know, problems that don't go quite right, you have to follow up and solve and issues, um, but that's part of event management really and you just got to get on with it really. And, but. I think the problems this year have been substantially less than, than with the, apart from apart from the food court <laughs> um, and the bring and buy. There's been a lot less problems than than last year. A little slight recommendation would maybe to improve the uh, accessibility to the Wi-Fi, um, just to improve on the ability to kind of trade. Well, it's just been a, an awesome weekend. I mean. We were expecting uh, with our pre-books that it would be a bigger show than last year, but I don't think any of us expected just how large it would be. Uh, the door entry yesterday, the thousands in through the door. I mean, yesterday we were looking at over 5,000 unique individuals had come yeah, in. The, the, the members of the public coming back and, and telling you that they've enjoyed games they bought last year. Brilliant. And, and new people coming up all the time. It's always fantastic to meet new people. Over all the weekends, I think we we probably estimate we had maybe 2,000 across the weekend. Not all families, but you know, games of families, we have 2,000 people in total, which I think is a pretty good number. Well, we've met so many great people. Uh, I think there's nothing to quite beat the atmosphere in the UK of, of um, lots of people interested in games, um, wanting to play and just uh, learn new stuff and, and sort of meet up and, and network. Um, this allows us to actually kind of meet people, to talk to people and to add this huge depth to kind of the gaming industry which um, is what you can't get just by sitting behind a computer. It's, it's actually fantastic to actually see how the gamers have come together. You can see how there, there is this, I don't know, sisterhood going on uh, of, of, of men and women and people just gaming together. It, it has been such a welcoming, very, very warm event. I oh, it's been great. I, uh, let's see, I ran a big pandemic tournament and did a couple seminars and walked the dealer floor, met a lot of people. So it's been a really great experience for me. I think it's ex it, the crowds are expanding to meet the new facilities. Which is excellent. Lots of room. It's great to get together with the UK community, which is awesome. Uh, so it's just been a great, great time. And uh, look forward to bigger and bigger, better conventions.
really enjoying the new venue. Uh, the size seems to accommodate the ever-growing mass of people that come in each year. Um, feels much, much busier, real buzz and vibe about the show this year. been enormously more attendance than last year, I think possibly 6,000 individuals. I'm just about to add, add the third, final figures in now. Um, so it's, it's, that's up a lot on last year. Um, I think we thought about 4,000 last year, so that's, that's a massive jump. Uh, and I would imagine we're expecting a jump again next year. Hello, it's Mark here at the UK Games at Slow, and I'm going to unbox a pizza. <laughs> I love the UK Games Expo and always have. They let me come to it and demo a game and sell a game that I produced at home and I've been coming ever since and it's brilliant and more people should come and more people are coming. But really, really fun. Seems to be growing every year and I think it's really, really good for the UK Games scene to have a show like this based in the Midlands because it's very accessible. Um, I've had an awful lot of fun. Uh, mostly I've been showcasing my game, but I've been able to go around stands and stuff and see other new things as well. Peter. Uh, games are about playing with other people. You don't play them on your own. And when you're playing games, it's all about communication. So the expo for us, um, that's what it's about. You, you just can't get a feel for how many games there are out there until you're able to go around something like the Palace Suite that's here and, and see a few thousand probably uh, different uh, fantasy, sci-fi, World War, everything games. It's been a really good uh, experience this year. It's been fantastic. It's been bigger than ever. And uh, we've been running the playtest session in the Monarch Suite, and that's been really successful. Uh, a good opportunity for us and other people to playtest their games. I mean, it's, it's just getting better and better, so we're really happy. I really wish it could go on for another couple of days. It's, it's been absolutely wonderful. There won't be the games you expect. We're not playing Monopoly. You know, we're not playing Tour Pursuit. We're playing games that will just Put a huge smile on your face and you will thoroughly enjoy it. But I think this year has been the biggest and best year ever. We've grown in size, lots of people are saying really good things about it. If you've not been before, come back next year.